Okay, what is happening? I just got an excellent question answered to um, asked to me. I'm going to answer it to all of you so you guys will all know. Somebody just asked, what? Vitamin C and all that on warm water? Yeah, most of you want to get up and drink coffee or tea first thing. What's the difference? It's heated. Drink cold tea. Actually, the real reason is, I'm sweating. Um, your body is 98.6. You ever drink that cold water? And you go, oh, that hurts going all the way down. Oh, yeah. It's your body kind of rejecting it. It's going in a state of shock. It's fighting that cold. It's got to use energy to warm that water up. Then it goes into your stomach, whatever, and it goes in your duodenum. Then your body wants to get rid of it really quickly because it was too damn cold in the first place. Your body doesn't recognize it. So you stay so you stay dehydrated. You ever notice the people that freaking are dehydrated? They're the ones that drink the most cold water. Cold sodas. And sodas is not good for you. Beers, etc. How many of you all out there had beers? And I'm not I'm I'm in, I'm in this ball I'm in this group. Sodas in the morning, sodas all day, beer at night. Constant state of dehydration. You ever notice how fast you have to go pee once you've been drinking beer? Those Lincoln logs in your head, are they connecting yet? Those wooden gears, are they, are they grinding? Are you making some sense? Room temperature, water, and have a great day, man. It's easy money. I did learn this room temperature water business in the Army. Then I started applying it. It's like, man, I can't drink enough. You ever drink, try to drink some serious cold water? The bugs are crazy here today. You ever drink that crazy cold water and try to drink it all? You just can't do it. Your body won't let you do it. Now, but now, if you have that room temperature water, what happens? Bam. I know most of you, when you drink down a beer, I know somebody's going to say, I can do it on the beer. But really, is it going down smooth or you just have some burning in your throat? Do you have some burning in your esophagus? Riding <laughs> because of all this stuff. Come on, I've done it. I, mean, I used to kill them chrono lights. 18 out of setting. Easy. Here's another example for you. I know all of you have done it. You've gone to 7 Eleven or your little convenience store. It's a hot day outside, man. I need something cold and go in and get that slushy, icy thing. You start drinking it and get brain freeze. The body's rejecting. The body's like, oh, God. No, that's just too nuts. That's just wrong, man. But you don't understand the signaling behind it. Oh, <laughs> just fun. It's cool. <laughs> this tastes great on a cold day. Listen, everybody repeats the same verbiage. Everybody repeats the same lines. Oh, this is great on a cold day. Monkey see, monkey do. Just listen and comprehend. Listen to people that repeat it. I also think people have been overusing the word sustainable. I've been alive for 55 years. I've seen things change every two, three, five, seven, eight years in cycles. I don't know if anything is flatline sustainable. Can you manage it? Can you manage what you're doing? Because only managing what you do becomes successful. You have to be regimented on it sustainable that's an overused word these days not too many people really understand the word sustainable nothing's ever flatlined shit goes up comes down shit goes up goes down just like your toilet it goes down comes back up and comes back down and it goes out i thought my last relationship was going to be sustainable forever so then, therefore, 
So pretty much of a shock when you go to work and you know you can't use beyond these things all the time. Especially when you're working with natural gas. Because this is a source of ignition to be on the phone when you're working in a gaseous environment. And you come to find out, oh yeah, we started this thing was about seven, eight months ago with somebody else. It's not sustainable. The word sustainable is a trendy word that nobody can maintain. It's not even manageable. The hard, how hard it is to work to your goals and how hard is it going to keep to stay to that goal is are you willing to put in that kind of effort? That should be what you're going to be saying. It's all about the effort. My dog hopped up in my lap, so um, we'll do another baseline sustainability thing. Your, is your eyes the same? Is your skin the same? Is your hair the same? Is your hearing the same? So was it sustainable? Is your health the same? It's not going to be sustainable. Sustainable is a catchy phrase that no one really understands. They're just spotting it out. Now, 100% health from a childhood when you've been fed and done everything the wrong way isn't man you can't man you can't manage it you can't manage that 100 percent goal no more you're just trying to be better than you were yesterday and that's the whole key perfection is never acquired so if you look at history now were the egyptians sustainable only the buildings they built only the people who built buildings upon that line from easter island to japan Going through the Giza Plateau, their civilization was not sustainable. History teaches it. It all goes in some kind of weird cycles and they go someplace else, blah, blah, blah. But what they built stayed forever. It was lasting. It was out of rocks and stone in some kind of geometric pattern in the ways of math. Nothing sustainable. If you look through history, um, Whenever crops failed, that, civ that civilization failed. Why did those crops fail? It wasn't sustainable. So, sustainable is the wrong word. Manageable? Yes, that's correct. Heck, the Garden of Eden wasn't even sustainable. Someone had to go get the damn apple. They told not to do it. Somebody's always not going to follow the rules. Someone's not going to follow what's laid down for them. No one's going to follow the baseline. If you look at a math graph, the baseline goes up, comes down, up and down, up and down. <clears throat> Just use the word manageable. You're going to be plus or minus. No perfection. All right, I think I'm done. Let me know if I made sense or not. All right, I appreciate it.